Okay, this is the first in a series of audio tech videos I'm going to be making. And uh, this is going to be an unboxing video. I don't know if you've seen unboxing videos on the internet. They seem to be a thing on YouTube. And uh, it's generally like a 17 or 18 year old kid, like a gamer kid or a podcaster. And they're opening up their new, their new uh, motherboard or, you know, video game accelerator or whatever. And showing you what is in the packaging and how it's uh, put together, all the accessories and the manuals and all that stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I will be showing you some microphones today and one of the things that makes this special is that instead of just one microphone I have an entire product line of a company so I'm gonna move right through this because I don't want this to take forever um, otherwise it gets boring um, so the company is Placid Audio and they make very special microphones now I have probably over a hundred microphones in my recording studios collection in my mic locker. I have condensers, I have dynamics, I have ribbons, I have uh, vintage microphones, I have contact mics, I have some very weird specialty mics. Um, so uh, most modern full range microphones, there are differences between them, but they're subtle. I mean, if you're gonna buy a, a, a large diaphragm condenser microphone for vocals, they're all gonna sound pretty much the same. They're all gonna do a great job, basically. Now, that was not always the case. Back in the day, if you go back into the 30s and the 40s, some of the microphones sound really, really retro and bizarre compared to today's mics. and you know, the industry moved on and made better and better microphones and that sort of got forgotten. And some of the coolest mics out there are what you call character mics because they don't sound like everything else. And I love stuff like that and I love companies like Placid Audio. Placid was started by Mark Pirro, who is an engineer and the bass player from Polyphonic Spray. And it's this really cool little boutique company that makes only handcrafted character mics and they're all made in the USA, which is another great thing. So let's get right to it and let's start opening these as fast as I can open them. Um, start box number one. I got seven boxes here. Okay. And these are gonna make an absolutely cool addition to my studio. Let's see if I can try not to bleed on camera here, cut myself with this X-Acto knife. I actually went to Rhode Island School of Design, art school for college and we were always using X-Acto knives in the projects that we had, homework and class projects, and I was probably the only person in the entire university not to slice off the tip of a finger. So I'm gonna try not to do that today. Okay, first up. Now, these are in cases. I special ordered cases, and man, this looks cool. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Got the Placid Audio logo on it. Really neat looking case. Solid, well protected. Um, so these, the cases are special orders. You can't buy them on the website. And two of the microphones I'm gonna show you are also special orders. And to get the special orders, you have to email Mark Pirro, I mean, sorry, just Mark at placidaudio.com, okay? And ask for them. Here we go. Now, we've got some instructions and a sticker, always cool. Okay, you know, this is actually not the first microphone I wanted to open. This is something a little more special and we will, we will revisit this in a, in a minute. Let's go on to the next box. There's a reason why that one's special and I'll tell you later on. I'm like a kid at Christmas right now. While I've been preparing to do this video, these boxes have been sitting in my hallway for weeks while I was figuring out lighting and all this other stuff because I only got one chance to do an unboxing video and I didn't want to screw it up and make sure the camera wasn't working or something. 
hope I've got the microphone on. I hope you can hear me. There's a shotgun mic on the camera right now. Okay, this is a good one to start with. This, I believe, is going to be the copper phone, which is the original mic that Mark invented and started the company with. We got the sticker and instructions again here. Oh, this is not the copper phone. This is the Resonator A. Okay, it looks just like the copper phone, except the grill's a little different. The copper phone has dots, and this has... The Resonator, there are two of these, the A and the B, and they are brand new products. This is the special order I was talking about. So to get these, again, it's mark at placidaudio.com. Let me make sure that is correct. Yes. Market Placid Audio. I got my notes here. Okay, so Resonator A and B, and they're similar to the Copper Phone in that they have, I believe, a dynamic element and then a specially tuned resonating chamber. So each of these has a different sound. And I got to tell you, this thing is solid. This is sturdy. So we're going to put him back in this case and we're going to move right on to the next one. Moving right along. Part of the thing with this video is I couldn't plan the order of these bikes were going to come out of the boxes because I don't know what's in each box. Maybe we get the copper foam this time. Maybe we get lucky here. Like, uh, like I said, sturdy. This is well taped. There. Always a good idea to order cases for your microphones. As a studio professional, an audio engineer, or a producer, you have such an investment in your mics. Oh, this is another one of the ones I didn't want to show you yet. It's always a great idea to protect them. And you will get to hear all these microphones in a future video. I'll be doing some crazy audio experiments with them. And we'll be comparing them head to head so you can hear what the different ones sound like compared to each other and compared to other well-known microphones by other companies. And I'll tell you, these sound nothing like other microphones. That's the great thing. That's the beauty that they're totally unique. Again, we're out of order, not the one I wanted. <laughs> we're gonna hit it, we're gonna get it. One of these days, it's gonna be the jackpot. Hey, it's live TV, you never know what's gonna happen. Not only are these cases super sturdy, they've got, they've got an O-ring seal and a pressure valve. I bet you these cases are actually waterproof. Like, seriously waterproof. You can submerge them. Good cases. Ah, this is it. This is the copper phone. This is the original product. See? It's got dots. Again, dynamic microphone, resonating chamber, really awesome retro vintage sound to these suckers. Okay, so that is the copper phone. Let's go back one mic to the one I just opened before it. This, I believe, was the second microphone in the company's product line. And it is the copper phone mini. And it's got this really cool antique style suspension shock mount, which one of the springs has come off during shipping, but that is easy enough to replace. I will work on that. Oh, two of the springs have come off. I will work on that 
another time. These boxes got a pretty rough ride by the postal carrier, but uh, I am sure none of these mics are damaged because these things are, are, number one, they're dynamic mics, which are fairly indestructible to begin with, and number two, um, these things are solidly built. So they also have a lifetime operational warranty. So if anything goes wrong with them, send them back to the company, they get them fixed. That does not cover cosmetic damage, you know, scratches on the finish and all that, but it makes sure they work. So this little mic, um, while it can be used like a normal studio microphone, was designed for harmonica players. So there is a way in the instructions and uh, with these little screws and extra kits and things to remove it from the shock mount and hold, hand hold it and use your harmonica. So I'm just learning to play harmonica, so that will be a cool thing for me to experiment with. Put him, put all his stuff together. I'll just leave these out in here because they're cool. And all right, so now, So we've already seen the copper phone, the copper phone mini, and the one of the two brand new mics. And I'm really interested in trying out those brand new mics on various sound sources. We'll see what they can do compared to the original copper phone. From the online listening tests that I've heard, they do sound a bit different from the copper phone. So that's great. Variety is the spice of life. But like all microphones, you got to get to know your microphone collection really, really well before you will know what particular mic is going to sound good on what particular instrument. So this will likely be, I'll open this one this way so you can see it. The copper phone, not the copper phone, sorry, the Resonator B. There's a Resonator A and a Resonator B. And that be the resonator B. Okay, one second, bear with me. Okay, so now I told you there was another thing that was kind of special here. And the thing that first attracted to me to, to the company after watching a video two online was that they had something that I don't have in my microphone collection. There is another type of microphone. You got your condensers, dynamics, ribbons, crystal mics. I have, I have all of those. But there is one other type of microphone that most people don't know about. It is a carbon microphone. And these are the really old elements that were in the original Bell telephone handsets. Um, I've been looking for a carbon microphone for a long time. And not only does Placid Audio have this carbon microphone in the line, it's got some really cool extras. Now, this is the one where I spent the money and bought two of these because I ordinarily buy my microphones in stereo pairs. Sometimes I even buy them in three so I can direct mic, close mic a source with one mic and use the stereo pair as room mics but I always like to have two for sound for stereo sound sources. So I have purchased two of these. These are the carbon phone. It's a little bit smaller than the copper phone and it's got the carbon granule mic element. Now, um, carbon granules, unlike uh, dynamic mics, I believe require power. This mic certainly requires phantom power and Here's the cool thing. The carbon phones come with a tone box. You got a XLR in and out there. All these mics are XLR, by the way, of course. Uh, it looks like we have the power switch there. Not a switch, a uh, AC connects there. 
and there is a five position switch on the front of this tone box and it gives you five different voicings for the microphone. So basically, these carbon phones, and let me get the other one out, get his brother out. These carbon phones are really five microphones in one, but it gets better than that because these tone boxes can also be used with your other microphones in your collection to change the sound of those in weird vintage, probably unpredictable ways because uh, these are designed to voice these particular mics. So who knows what they're gonna sound like on a Neumann or a Shure mic or AKG or whatever. But I will definitely be experimenting with that because I love doing crazy crazy stuff to get different sounds. So that is all of our microphones. Uh, the resonators I will leave down on the floor. Well, we'll put one up here because it's handy. But we're not done yet. I have one more thing from the company. Last box, box number seven. And this is just fun. And as soon as this video is done, I will put one of these to use. I wish I could turn the mics on for you right now and show you what they sound like, but I have to do a complete different setup on the video camera. I can, I've got XLR inputs on this camera and I can run audio, pristine audio right out of my control room into this camera so I can film live, not lose sync and still get, you know, great sounding audio, but it's, it's kind of a bear to set it up. So we won't be listening to anything but my stupid voice today. Ah, Placid Audio mugs for the coffee I'm about to drink. This is a carbon phone. Let's see, we'll put it with the carbon phone. Yeah. No, sorry, copper phone. <laughs> the names are very similar and I'm easily confused. I'm kind of scatterbrained. But that's good in a creative person, right? That's another copper phone. Oh no, this was a carbon phone. Okay, so that's the carbon phone. That's the copper phone. There's not going to be a resonator mug yet. This is your Copperphone Mini. Cheers. <laughs>